Hello, I'm Jeff Mellon from Digital Tech TV for Inform TV, and today I'm going to talk about Facebook. And to start out, I want to go over some interesting facts about Facebook. A lot of people already know that Facebook is popular, but here's some interesting statistics. Anyway, um, of every 13 people on the earth, uh, one is a Facebook user, so one out of 13 people on the earth. Uh, the population of Facebook is three times that of the United States. They have a lot of users. 71% of all internet users use Facebook. So that's, that's a huge, huge portion of the internet. Um, the average number of friends people have is 229. Uh, half of Facebook users use it every day. That, that's the one that really uh, impresses me, that people, um, that many people use it every day. And then another one, a third of all divorce filings in 2011 contained the word Facebook. So that just kind of shows, I guess, how, in, um, how involved everybody is with Facebook. They're using it all the time. A lot of people are. So... Um, I'm just going to go over some basics about Facebook. Uh, with Facebook, there's four pieces I want to talk about. One is a profile. One is a page. Uh, then there's a Facebook group, and there's the news feed. So your Facebook profile is basically just your account. That is um, the information about you. And there's a thing called the timeline that Facebook calls, uh, actually calls that a type of profile. So really it's your information about you in your account in Facebook. That's what a profile is. Um, a news feed is another thing that you have when you log in. It's a collection of all of the posts that all of the friends you have on Facebook have posted. And so you can see, it. I think it's been called the wall before, but I haven't heard that term used much lately. Uh, but the news feed is where you can see all of the pictures of your friends post or the posts or whatever they do, po the pictures, videos, or just text. Um, so there's the profile and the news feed. Those are the two things. Everybody has one if, they're, if you log in, to fa if you have a Facebook account. Now, there's two other things that not everybody has, and that's the page and a group. A group is, according to Facebook, it's, it says it provides a closed space for small groups of people to communicate about shared interests. So, for example, my family has a Facebook group, and a, a lot of my cousins and aunts and uncles are members of that group. So whenever I put something on the on the uh, on, within that group, like a picture or an, uh, just a post, I write about something. Uh, only those people that are in that group will see it. Nobody else on Facebook will see it. Not not the people that I've friended. Just the people who are in the group. So it gives you some privacy that a group does, and uh, you know there's some advantages to it, and uh, there's there's good reasons for for having a group. And that's probably the best example I can think of is having it for your family if you want to just communicate amongst yourselves and not not be letting your information go out to everybody that's, um, and who knows who. I mean, it, when you put something on Facebook just without a group, uh, it's going to go to most of your friends, but then it could also go beyond that. So depending on what your friends do, because your friends can share your information too when they see it. Uh, the other thing, which is kind of a big thing, is for businesses, it's a Facebook page. And uh, Facebook's definition is basically, pages are for businesses, organizations, and brands to, to share their stories and connect with people. Um, like timelines, you can customize pages by adding stories and things to them. Um, and then you can grow your audience by posting regularly, they say. And people who like your page and their friends will get updates in their news feed. So, for example, I have a Facebook page for my business. And if I put a post on there, 
then everybody who has liked my page will probably see the post in their newsfeed. Maybe not everybody, but a lot of them will. Um, every post doesn't necessarily show up in everybody's news feed. It's, there's, a, there's a little, uh, oh, Facebook has a formula for that, and they don't always show everything that, that could go through because there's so much stuff going through. Um, so um, why would I want to have a page for my business? And that's, that's the thing. You know, if you think about Facebook, um, Facebook is really not a place that people go to to buy things or to shop. They go there to communicate with their friends and family. They go there to share things with them. They go there to have fun. They're not there uh, to be sold to or pitched to. So you you know you don't want to be pitching your business services and products on Facebook. However, you can make good connections on Facebook. In fact, it's really, really easy to make a lot of really great connections on Facebook. It's just designed to connect people. So businesses can take advantage of that, I think, without being pushy and without being salesy. Um, it's valuable to get your name out there as a business so that people know you and know who know what your business is without selling to them. Uh, so the basic formula for a business using Facebook would be um, get, make connections, get people to know about you, and then hopefully you can do business with them outside of Facebook and bring them by bringing them to your website, for example or getting them to call you. Um, so another difference between a page and a profile. Remember a Facebook page is for an organization or a business and a profile is a personal account. Um, when you're friends with somebody, there's two profiles connected together, yours and your friends. So whatever you post, they will see in their newsfeed, and whatever they post, you will see in your newsfeed. Now, it's a one-way street with pages. Um, when a page puts something on, then all the people who have liked that can see what the business has put on their page. But the people who have liked the page, when they put stuff on their, uh, on their timeline, the page doesn't see that stuff. So it's a one-way street with a page to the people who have liked. But friends with friends, it's a two-way street. Okay, um, some businesses have created a Facebook profile for the business that needs to be converted to a page. And this, this has happened because uh, businesses wanted to get on Facebook before Facebook had the capability to, to create a page for the business. So they just went ahead and made a new account on Facebook, which is really a personal account, and they used it for their business. Now, that isn't really proper, or that's not definitely not the way to leave your page as a business. And Facebook does have a process for converting that personal profile into a page, which is what it should be. Uh, so you can um, you can do that, and you should do that if you are a business that has a personal account, Facebook account that you're using for your business. And I'll put a note in my show notes on how to do that, or a link to the instructions for that. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Facebook, not a good place. Yeah, how many likes do you need, and how can you get more likes? Well. It's really, um, let's see, you need likes if you're going to get exposure. So if I'm a business and I'm posting things to Facebook and I only have 10 people liking me, then not very many people are going to know what I'm doing. If you have a 1,000 people that have liked your page, then you've got a big audience. So it's pretty simple. I mean, the more likes you have, the better, the more exposure you're going to get. Um, it's not always easy to get likes. For some businesses, it's it's hard to get people to like you because it's just not 
natural for you maybe for example to like some kind of businesses that are you know not that exciting whereas some kind of businesses like restaurants and entertainment places they're easier to like because they're just kind of uh, it's just it, Facebook is kind of made for them it seems they're fun um, when people have fun they like they, they have a natural tendency to just click like but if you get creative um, if you're not that exciting of a business, you can still get likes by offering useful information and by asking people to, in return, like your page. And then also you would promise more, um, more good information, more useful information in the future if they like your page. Uh, getting them to stay connected to you is valuable. If you can make them think that it's valuable, to them and make it valuable for them, then that's good. And then you can get likes. So the other thing is um, you, can, uh, you can use uh, Facebook um, paid advertising. And you can, so you can promote your page or your posts and gather more likes by paying Facebook. So you, and you can run like uh, five or $10 a day for as many days as you want. And you can control who uh, those ads, they're like pay-per-click ads, or sponsored stories, they call them, um, that entice people to like your page. And it really does work. I've used it quite a bit for some of my business stuff. And uh, it can get expensive, and that's the challenge, is that you want to minimize the expense, of course, to uh, try to get more likes f uh, for low cost. Uh, but that can be done, and it really does work. So using um, uh, Facebook promotions, and that's built in all over the place in Facebook. You'll see promote, and you can easily um, start a Facebook promotion and run it for a few days and get more likes. So that's a, that's a uh, very effective way to get more likes. And remember, likes are valuable to a business. So, all right, that's all I got for today, and thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.